Hey, Nick here. Uh, doing a video about, um, this video is about resurfacing the pads on your backing plate where the brake shoe rides sits, rides, okay? The brake shoe sits on three pads on each side, right? And the, the wheel cylinder is here. It's an, the shoe is anchored here by the adjusting star and the shoe's gonna move back and forth like that. And what it does is it moves back and forth on these pads and then wears a groove into them. Now on this particular, this is off of that 58 Fairlane, same as Thunderbird, um, same as Squarebird, okay? Cause it's got that funky master cylinder wheel cylinder that bolts to the stud here. Um, anyway, um, here you can see the groove right here. See it? It's not very big. Most usually they're very much bigger than this, right? This should be perfectly flat, this pad. This one's got a little bit of a groove right there aware it's got wear across but it's deep there this one's just got a mark where it rides it's not really a groove so these are pretty good these are actually pretty good you wouldn't necessarily have to surface these i always do this one's pretty deep a little bit you can see it Here's that one again. This is the deepest one right here. So what can happen is the shoe can lock into there. Um, and it could, depending on how deep it is, it could actually prevent the shoe from moving if it were deeper than that, you know? So what you do to surface these is you take, you know, I take a, one of these, it's an air sander, a little disc pad, you know? And, uh, I just sand them down until that disappears. Hey, the other part store is here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I, sanded it down now it's you know it's a little kind of bowl shaped now cup shape or it's curved a little bit but so what there's nothing to to um there's nothing to grab onto the shoe now you know it's not very deep it's what a a couple thousandths of an inch deeper than the the rest of the pad some of these get really deep and in that case you gotta you know weld them and then grind them down it's, it's, it, that's especially, you would need a mill for that usually to mill them back down to size, but um, um, there. Nice and flat. See? Yeah. Now you can see the groove starts growing there, but you feel it. There's nothing there. So that's fine. You don't want to go too far. You don't want to take off too much. Oh, missed one. Right, cheer. That one. That's it. That's how you resurface them. It's simple. But you got to do that. If you do a brake job, you got to make sure 
that these are flat and they always have grooves, always. And usually they're bigger than, than they are smaller. Uh, and if they're really deep, you gotta weld them and then surface them. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, it helps me. Uh, and it also helps you guys to keep me making videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not and um, comment. I always answer them, thank you.